Clay Davis. He's got a spread right out of town here. A finer man you never wanted to meet. Why, did you ever know a fella that just when he rides by, he makes you feel like it's Sunday? <laughs> That's Clay. Morning, Jonas. Morning, Clay. How's it going? Same old fixes himself. <laughs> Look at him yourself. Oh, howdy, stranger. Howdy. I'll be passing this way again. So if you figure on selling me a plug that ain't no good, you're grabbing a bucket full of grief. I can give you my good word. If that ain't enough, it'll be the first time in this town. Fifteen dollars, deal? All right. many thirsty miles into the desert. Oh, I didn't know. I'll give you your money back. And for fifteen dollars, you'd have me crawling over hot sand. One chance in a million of finding water. Well, listen, mister. I scared just like any other man. If that's what you were after, you've done it. But I don't crawl for nobody. Ropes get used on plain horse thieves. Too bad the best I got for you is a bullet. A bullet's mighty quick. But you live a long, slow time before you learn that Michael Peters ever cheated anybody. Why, there ain't a man in this territory. Don't call me friend. You just ask around. You'll find the reason. Like I said, I've got a lot of good friends. Mister, we've never had a lynch. Be nice if we could keep it that way. Hold back. You don't know what he done. But we know Michael. Put that gun away and you might be lucky enough to ride out on your own. Oh, no. He had cause, but not for what he was going to do. Here's your money, friend. If there's any way I can say I'm sorry, you only got to ask. I think he'd be mighty smart to buy a horse. And I'll sell you one real cheap. Oh, Mr. Michael, are you all right? Why, of course, Miss Lucy. I was afraid that man was going to shoot you. Ah, oh, now, it's all over. You stopped your fret. Are you sure you're all right, Michael? Why, sure. Good. Come on, sis. Michael, you him to thank for calling us. <laughs> Nick Finn's the name. My good fortune to be nearby. Your good fortune. I'm a stranger here and in many places. A man in my position doesn't have too much unless you total the pleasure of doing a good turn. Well, you just finished being a stranger. <laughs> Welcome to heaven. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
I've been meaning to come here for a long time. I heard it was a place where there'd be work for me. Well, you're not a cowhand. You don't look like a gambler. I'm an auctioneer by trade. Well, there ain't never been an auction in heaven. Not since I've been here. Oh, you have a string of horses. They could be well sold. You mean, uh, people bidding against each other, maybe paying more than fitting? I travel far, Michael. And I've seen a lot in my time. People want to be prodded. There's excitement, a thrill in the bidding. You know, it moves the world forward. It's pushed by men struggling against other men, competing, wanting more, wanting harder. Life's an auction. All bid, some win, some lose. No one is forced to buy, and there's a profit for the seller. Hmm. I got all the money I need. Well, there may be even more than $300. The profit could go toward a teacher or a school. Hmm, such a cause, I'd not ask a fee for my service. I guarantee that all who buy what I have to sell will get no less than is promised. All right. Tomorrow. And if all goes well, you're going to be the partner of Michael Peters. <laughs> oh, am I a lucky man. A new friend and a new partner all in one day. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-five. Don't be sad. They really know better. Twenty-five. Twenty-five, gentlemen. Any further bidding? Thirty. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. A man of intelligence and discrimination. Thank you, sir. I'm bid thirty-five. Any further bidding? Once for thirty-five. Twice for thirty-five. Sold to this gentleman for thirty-five dollars. And now, my neighbors, Pokey, don't be misled by his appearance. He's a remarkable animal. Pokey is available by the happy chance that his last owner, a cattle rustler, met with his just desserts. And as a sign of the intelligence of this horse, he fooled his owner by going in a circle till the sheriff caught up. And would you believe it? Pokey claimed the reward for the wrestler. <laughs> we both done business in this town. Looks like you and your friend are trying to load up everybody that needs a horse. Well, I thought it was a good idea, Jonas. I didn't aim to hurt you. Well, it ain't where you aim, it counts. It's where you hit. $321. I reckon Michael's never had his hands in so much money before. He made a good move taking you and his partner. That money is earmarked for a worthy cause. Well, earmarked or no, you've got top prices and you can't buy them honest. That's my idea of a good businessman. Well, I'd like to help Michael and for that matter you too. All the good people of heaven. There's money to be made by all. By the big cattle drives passed through Centerville. Centerville isn't a town, it's a big style. And heaven is 50 miles closer on a direct route. Now, I know the prosperity those drovers bring. They bring prosperity, yes, but they're a wild lot. Question of handling. The people of heaven are different. Think of the business that would come to the stores, the hotels, the bank. A flow of money that would make heaven the richest town in the territory. The drovers are a hard crew. Gunplay, drinking. Still, with the firm handling... Mm. And who knows better how to handle them? I've never seen a town on the cattle trail that wasn't rowdy and wild. Of course, uh, we're level-headed here in heaven. We've solved other problems. The town would grow. Money for education, churches, money for everything. The bank would have to expand loans to new farms, ranches, a happy, thriving community. Mind you now, I I'm not saying I'm convinced, but if it was a good idea, It'd still be need for a ranch nearby with water and feed where the herds could stop. Morning, Ben. Morning, Clay. There's so much you could do for heaven. Clay's ranch. It could be bought. And the drovers would pay for grazing their herds. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, Mr. Starr. Any time, Mr. Ben, any time. I'm here to serve heaven whatever way I can. <laughs> Nick! 
Peel off your coat. That fire throws hot. I'm accustomed. You know, there's something about working with your hands. Makes you feel good. You'll see. Well, howdy, Clay. Good morning, Michael. Clay. Yeah, Mr. Finn. Uh, ben tells me you'll buy my spring of ponies. Huh? Oh, uh, Ben, uh, Mr. Stark, that is, mentioned that Clay here was selling. What we might buy, partner. Oh, you can't run your spread without horses. Sold out to Ben. Made a good profit. Taking my family and going east to live easy. Oh, you can't do that, Clay. Your roots are here. Your friends. The place you built for yourself. Man's a fool not to take a profit. I got enough now to stop working and do some living. Oh, I meant to tell you, Michael, with the uh, drovers coming to, means a big market for horses. Drovers in heaven? You've been stuck here all day. You ought to go walk down the street. The whole town's buzzing. It'll be smack on the trail of the drives. Everybody will get rich. You too, Michael. You know, Clay, I've got a feeling something bad's happening. I don't know what. I'm pulling out tomorrow. You want the ponies, talk price now. Well, if it's the right thing to do, they'll be needing them, all right. Jonas. But Jonas ought to have a chance to buy some of them, too. Come on. What happened, Jonas? Come out just a minute ago. Was going to shake feed, then get lunch. Aggie's fixing pancakes. Maybe it's an epidemic. Could have started from Michael's horse. The one that died the day I came to town. Jonas, Clay's selling his string. I'll give you a chance to buy half of it. Michael, we're partners in business. One partner can't give up half the stock. Jonas will pay. If he don't, I will. I'm a reasonable man. Anyone here will tell you I've done more than my share to give this town a chance to get rich. What are you trying to say, Nick? I spoke first for the horses. Ben will bear me out. That's right. Rightly, they're mine to do what I want with. Well, if Jonas don't share, I want no part. Michael, I wouldn't hold you to a deal you didn't want. I could say we shook hands, became partners, binding, but no, Michael. You're too good a friend for that. We just disagreed in business and times were changing. Man couldn't be fair, Michael. I'm not a greedy man. Anyone who changes with the times has a claim to what's coming to heaven. Jonas, Ben would loan me the money, I think, to buy Clay's horses. Any time, Mr. Finn. Yeah. Instead, I'm giving you a chance to come in with me. 50-50. My horses, your money. You'd be richer than you ever dreamed possible. In no time, you could retire. I don't want a skull drag the rest of my life. I'm getting sick of the stink of sweaty horses. Jonas! I'm sorry, Michael. Well, everybody, Mr. Finn's convinced me there'll be big money for all of us. Well, I've already ordered in a bigger stock for my store. You made a smart move, Jonas. I don't know how to thank you for this. Uh, we won't talk about debts. Not now. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Before long, you won't recognize heaven. <laughs> You don't keep up with the times, Mike. Why, the time's changing.
I told you to stay off of the street. Now, who do you think's going to pay for my window? <sighs> Ben. I'm busy, Michael. It won't take long. I want to sell my place out and go away. Talk to him. made me vice president of the bank. I came here to sell my place out. Why, Michael, you've got a good business. I know it'll get better. It's not good for me. Well, it hurts me to hear you're going to leave. I had hopes for you, Michael, that you'd change with the times, be like other men. I came here to sell my place, not to bandy words with you. Michael, you're the only dissatisfied man in this town. I feel responsible for you, believe it or not. Well, I can't please everybody, but I do try. You won't buy my place? I'll find somebody, or lock up and go. You said you were married to heaven. As I recall the ceremony, it's for better or for worse, till death do you part. The name of this town sounds dirty in your mouth. himself, too. You! Hey, you! You ain't gonna whip nobody else. You're gonna get what's coming to you. Look out, Michael! your mind? You saw it like we did, Michael. It was an accident. Nick had nothing to do with it. As sure as if you had your finger on that trigger, you killed Jonas, like you're trying to kill everything. Are you the one who has murder on your face? Are you a murderer, Michael? The day you came, the horse died. The church closed. You brought greed and sickness to heaven. What kind of nonsense are you talking? You're like a stench covering this town. You made it into hell. All of you. Can't you smell it? Doesn't it fill your nose? Clogging your throat till you can almost die of it? You're upset, Michael. You should rest. He's possessed. Either that or he's the devil himself. Of course. Why didn't I see that before? That's what you are. You're the devil himself. Get out. Get out! You don't belong here. This is my place now. These are my people. There's only one thing to do. 
I'm going to shoot you. You can't kill the devil. Michael, you're insane. Michael, don't. Go into him. That should have been enough to kill any man. If he'd have been a man. Oh. Yeah. It's getting cool. We'll all better get back to our jobs. Yeah, come on. Come on. 